Welcome back to VBPA Tutorials. I'm Venkat. In this video, we will discuss what is no tracking in Entity Framework. For that, let us go to our code. You can see this is a update student endpoint. In this update student endpoint, so we just queried the Entity Framework DB context. We have just queried the student stable in DB context and we are fetching the student record so once that record is retrieved we are updating the values in it and we are calling save changes right we are using the record which is read from the db context right so let us create a new record here so i want to create new record where new record equal to new student this is my new record and i want to update not model id i want to update the values from this student name equal to email equal to address here if you notice instead of updating this record i'm creating new student record now i want to update this record so i don't want to do this i'm just i'm just commenting it out now db context dot students dot update new record what i did i have queried the student table with the id received from front end or end customer we found the record and i have created a new student record I copied the data from uh, the record we retrieved from the student's DB context and I'm updating this particular record to the student's table and I'm calling the save changes method. Let us execute this one. This is the update endpoint. Write out instead of typing everything i'm copying it from the get all so the id is one and this is the rahul i want to update it back to venkat okay i'm just updating this student uh, name i want to execute it i have put a breakpoint here so it stopped here i'm pressing f10 so i'm going next line okay step over next next so we got the student yes we got the student and next so i'm creating the new record with the existing student data you can see here this record has id1 and the name as rahul so all the details are there all the details are there as per the old record so i want to i think i need to use the id only from the existing student and remaining values i should get it from model okay copy okay i have applied it Okay, let me update the student name. Student name we wanted to run it as like that. Okay, so now the new record has the updated 
name as a venkat and id as a 1 so the moment i the moment i go next here you can see we got a error so the instant of entity type student cannot be tracked because another instance with the same key value id is already being tracked so what it is saying so there is a record already in entity framework tracking so we cannot add one more record with the same id it is saying okay because we kept id as a primary key in the table so entity framework will track the records based on the primary key column so here it is saying so with this you are already tracking this record with id with id 1 i think with id 1 you cannot track it you cannot track another record with same id so that so this is already in entity framework tracking we cannot create one more okay for the if you want to create like this you need to read when you are reading the record you need to read it as a no tracking we need to add the import using microsoft dot entity framework core so you need to you need to read the record as no tracking so now it will work let me rerun this Right out. I'm getting all the students first. I want to copy first record. Let us go to the update record. Write out. I want to change the name to Venkat. Let us continue. So we got this student record. So we got this student record, but this record is not under entity framework tracking because we have queried it with as no tracking. Now, now let's go to next line and next line. So you can see here the record has a new student name and I'm calling the update. So this time you can see no error. Next, save changes also executed, no error. Continue. Here you can see 204 success. Let us go to the database. You can see the name got updated here. So that is about as no tracking. When you are reading any record from entity framework it will be under entity framework tracking so if you don't want any tracking for that particular record you can read it with as no tracking so that this record will be under no tracking you can create new record for you can create new record with that id for more videos like this please like share and subscribe if you have any questions please ask in the comment box thank you for watching